I hope everybody hi dear your Yorkshire crafter this is my second time because I just got cut off because my phone decided it wanted to update which was very inconsiderate a bit don't you think as I was just saying not that you know um yesterday I uploaded this onto the Lavinia sites and it went crazy everybody wanted the um link for the tutorial I cannot put the link on the tutorial uh, on the Lavinia sites and I totally get it I totally agree with it um but some people got fed up so do you know what if you don't give me the chance to explain then it's actually your problem and not mine and I'm really sorry if that comes off a bit abrupt but yeah anyway at the end of the day Facebook decided to put me in jail for a day because I was trying to send it to everybody and they thought I was being naughty and like a lot of you just messaged me back now because I did put it on my on our Facebook group Hide to the Yorkshire Crafter if you're not in it um, that I'd been put in jail and a lot of you were saying like there's far worse stuff on, on explicit stuff and what have you why can't they just deal with that I weren't doing anything wrong I weren't hurting anybody in fact I were helping everybody so what I am going to ask you is if you see a post like in Lavinia and what have you, like to that post, I mean, do us a favour and just explain to them that um, if they want to message me, they can, but I can't reply till after my 24 hours is up. But just tell them I'm in jail and tell them head them in the right direction to find video, if you don't mind. It would be much appreciated. Right, as usual, in the links below, you've got my eBay, which is doing really well at the moment. Um, selling some crafty bits plus some stuff I'm getting rid of. I've parted with my glimmer, it's done. I've had enough, we're falling out. And I'm sticking with me. Oh, well, I'm just going to show you my quickie glue pen, but people keep asking what it's called, and I say quickie glue pen, and they'll say, Yeah, but what's it called? <laughs> it's, it's a quickie glue pen. So, yeah, that's the pen. Although we're not using it today. And also below is the buy me a coffee. Now some of you have asked me how you change it into pounds. You don't. Your bank does it for you. In fact, you'll pay less than what the $5 is per coffee. You'll pay less because of the exchange rate. So if you'd like a card off me and you want to be in the birthday club and you want to help with the postage, buy me a coffee. Right, guys. We are doing something, not loving you after all that talk. Right, what we're going to do, I'll show you the die I'm using. So I've, I've got about four different leaf dies. I just love plain white. I love it. That's two that I've already glued together so you didn't have to wait for me to do them. I'll take this out while we're talking. Um, so... I thought we'd do something with them and I was going to keep them white in fact these ones are white but the next card isn't and I absolutely love it and then I found an easy way how to do it which was even better which I'm going to pass on to you so we'll get these glued together so yeah memory box it is leaf bunches we'll get these glued together and then we can have them just waiting, can't we? This, uh, my sweet petunia, everybody keeps asking about. I got mine from Bumbleberries, 35 quid. Um, I couldn't, I didn't like it, I'm not going to lie, because it kept blocking up. And I'm not going to lie, sometimes it still does. Or, you know, if you leave it overnight, but that is the idea behind it. You're supposed to be able to leave it overnight without putting a cap on it. And I couldn't, I couldn't master it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'll show you something in a minute. I'll just put this on. But it is a, it's an absolute godsend for easy access and what have you, once you're using it. It comes with two glue tubs, one full and one empty. So I put my Gina K Connect in it. Right, I'm just going to sit them to the side. They're not glued together perfect, but... Do you know what? They'll do. Just 
stems I can't get perfect I've got two fat thumbs two fat thumbs right I'll just leave that to the side a minute I'll just show you this so your lid has a pin in it so when it does clog up I just stick the lid on but that's it there if you get it inside you've got a little red rubber thing if you sit it properly it doesn't clog up but if you don't in my opinion it does so there you go right we're using backgrounds from old you can make a fresh one if you want but i'm just using an old one so these are what i had left i gave away all my other ones i had boxes and boxes of them so out of all these I decided I'm going to go, I think, yeah, I'm going to go that colour. And I've got a flimsy piece of paper here, which I'll show you in a minute. So I'm going to cut this, I'm going to cut it at three. What we're doing is we're cutting it every half an inch. You can do them bigger, you can do them smaller. I'm going to try and keep them in line. I've done it this way, cut them down this way so that I could do it here instead of going to the window, which is where my cutter is. And it would be quicker for me, but I don't feel like I've just left you in the craft room on my own when I'm studying doing this. So you won't use all these, but it comes in handy for something else. Where are there? They have to be perfect. I mean, you could do them an inch. It depends what kind. You want to cut it into a circle. So it just depends what size circle you want to do. It's a very simple card, actually, but it looks very... looks like you spent a lot of time on it, but you haven't. You've all got to have a background that oh, you've got to have. So I'm taking this flimsy piece and I'm taking, I'm not using proper glue, I'm just using a tape runner and I am gluing them back on. But with a tiny little gap I'm not measuring it because you know me if I had to measure that I'd be here and I were just doing this bit I know you guys don't mind being here but come on and I were to watch somebody measure but Rosie's got a thing about laying on my feet at the moment she's got um, I mean she's never ever ever left on her own ever because I'm always here, and if I do have to go out for help, Dad's always here, Andy's always here. We call each other Mum and Dad. Um, but she seems to have a bit of separation anxiety, I think. Although she's never been left. She can't, You go into the kitchen and she... Well, I mean, they're not allowed in the kitchen, they're sitting in the doorway, but... At the moment, she's trying to get into the kitchen with you. It's really odd that she's been like this. But you've got to love her. And you can't half tell Lexi's getting old now. She struggles to get upstairs, bless her. Gosh, I thought I was going off screen then. Can't believe my phone wanted to upgrade halfway through doing something. It's really rude, isn't it? So I thought. I'm waiting for my delivery from the new release for Lavinia. I thought I'll come up here. I was playing with this yesterday and do you know it was nice doing something totally different from what I've been doing. It, it was really nice. I enjoyed it. I've got one left. I'll never throw them because that could be a sentiment strip. This was left over from yesterday's. Even bits like that, I won't get rid of it. Sentiment strips. See? 
Right, where's my circle? Here's my circle. I'm just going to run this through down with you. And I'd like it to be... See, if you had it grading like this, you could be... That'd have been quite nice, actually. Yeah. So easy, I can do more anyway. So, I'm not going to tape it down. It's about what I want, is that? I'm just going to run it through the machine. I've swapped back to my um, Platinum 6, my Spellbinders machine. I didn't get on very well with my Gina Care machine. Hero Arts Infinity Dice Circle. I wouldn't be without them. In fact, I use them an awful lot. So there's your circle. Keep it. And what we're going to do, we're going to get the card base. This is how simple it is. Get the card base. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Answering somebody else's question, where do I get my card bases from? This is my Nina Classic Crest. I've cut it in half because I've had to cut it window. I've cut it straight down. If you want the side fold, cut it that way. But I just cut it straight down the middle, straight in half. And then I will score. Oh, I'm not used to doing it at this angle. I will score at five and a half. And that's my base. I never buy them pre-made so waste the money to me I used to when I first started card making I did because I didn't have a clue what I was doing so but now I always make me on now always cards so expensive it really is especially for us in UK I think right So we'll take the, where's it gone? The little, oh, it's there. I'm looking for a blue one. So I cut another circle at Anina, just bigger than that, the next circle in the infinity. So I'm just going to glue this straight onto the card base. I'm trying to think if that's what I did. Yeah, I did. Anywhere there, make sure it's even. You could do a different coloured one. Um, I'll just take a couple of these. It's a lot of good in it while wow, they're strong. Get rid of these. I'm going to pop this circle up. Oh, I don't know why I did that. If I can. Well, let me just cut this one in half. There we go. Now it's up to you, which way you want it. I want mine horizontal. That tape's sticking over. Again, it might be a bit wonky because I'm not ooh, measuring out. I did put glue on back a bit before, as well as the pads. But for time, there, that looks all right to me. Does that look all right? Oh, I meant to put the sentiment on first. I'll do that now. Where is my sentiment? I'm using Mama Elephant birthday messages. And we're going, where's my platform? I'm just going with happy birthday now then. I don't know what colour to do it in. I'm just going to 
bend it the slightest bit oh it's not going to work because I've already put that on I'm just going to pull it to me so I can see it uh, I think we'll go with it we'll try it What colour are we going in, guys? I didn't think about this bit. Uh, one second, I shall be back with you. The new colour should be out soon for the Versafine. I tell you, the colour I want is going to be right at the bottom, isn't it? see what that looks like it doesn't look very even does it oops don't look very put the wire up a bit does that look all right Oh, let's just go for it. We ain't got time to be messing, have we? I don't know where my paper towel is. Right, let's do it. Gold would have been nice, I think, but I'm doing this one now. Let's hope that that doesn't get in the way. Let's go. Still a little bit wonky, but do you know what? It's right. I'd still like to receive it. So if nobody wants it, I'll send it myself. Right. So I'll put that away before I lose it. That's finished with. Yeah, we're looking through my things because I'm trying to get rid of some stuff. Make room for some new stuff. And... Even some stamps, what I'm never going to use, I won't get rid of them because they have a good sentiment with them. It's crazy. I mean, I'll keep them ones anyway. I've got a thing about sentiments. I'm just going to stick these out of the way because there will be a problem. This card's nearly done, guys. rest of them can stay there oh no look what I've done I've got red on the oh dear do I cut another one one minute guys I can't even remember which one it is it's not that one is it where's the Side of me. I'm going to have to cut another one because, yeah, you can see it, can't you? Yeah, it's not very professional, is it, if I, if I don't? No, it's two seconds. It'll be very tall then, though. Let's do it. One second. Nice and easy. So it gives you three bits in this die. Oh, come on, don't get stuck now. That's it. Right, 
Yeah, you get all the little bits. I've done a little, oh, I broke that. A little hole from um, Timu. Temu. I got these. Um, I'll show you these after, but um, these are fantastic. You know, for storing stuff in. I've got some more coming. I've just done a, a little, like I say, just stick this on right quick. But they're brilliant for storing your die cuts and stuff. No idea how much they were. I'll be able to tell you when the next lot comes. I am rushing to get this done now. That should be okay. Can't believe I got red on that. Oh well, at least it's going to be a nice thick um, bunch of leaves, isn't it? I get them ready in advance so that you don't have to watch me do this bit. And then I mess up. Right, that'll do what. So, we're going to stick some glue on the back. Oh, I can't do it down there. I haven't given it time to sort of like set but it'll do I notice I mean I don't watch my videos unless somebody's asked some it and I don't know what they're on about then I'll watch it back but as a rule absolutely not have you heard my voice um, <laughs> we all sound the same up here uh, down here in here Yorkshire born and bred yeah so I have no idea what I was saying. I think that will be right there. Doesn't that look lovely behind it? It's just, rather than have just a plain circle or... Just, I've wrote on one of my lists to do shapes. So I'm going to start like circle and I'm going to do some things with little squares and Oblongs. The only thing I didn't write down was hearts because unless you're having an anniversary or out like that, I don't think people are bothered about hearts, are they? I'm certainly not. I'm taking my Winkle Stella. And literally just colouring it in. I'm glad I did this colour. Just colour it in. Even just that little bit of shine to it. I don't I've had a a bit of difference to it. There you go. I think that's lovely. I bet you can't see the shine, can you? I'll just grab my jewels. See, I think I've got everything ready today. So I'm going to put three of the dew drops and I'm gonna go one two three I'm looking at my other card to see where I put them one there one there one there so we've got a lot of white card left so I want I don't always like using the big ones, but they need to be used. That glue underneath will disappear. Yeah, I don't want to be left with all big ones, so... Why will that not turn over? And I'll go with another one of them there. So 
So I mixed it up today and these are disco balls. They're Dew Drops by Gina K and these are disco ball sequins. These are amazing. They pick up any colour that you've got um, going on on your card. It's quite clever really, isn't it? There you go. Leave that out because I'm going to be using it. Actually, we probably won't use it. So, what I was going to show you, when I said keep your bits, this is why. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, please don't spill on my stuff. That's all my elements inks just turned upside down. Right. So that is that one done. And apart from that being a bit wonk wonky, oh, the name is a naughty word. Um, I think it's stunning. So I did a blue one. Exactly the same. But out of the extras, I cut some sentiments, happy birthday. Same sentiment, because I was going to go in here with it somewhere, but I didn't like it. Didn't like it underneath, didn't like it to the side. Did it in white, didn't like it. But that's what I kept them for, and that is what they will be used for eventually. So there you go. Aren't they lovely? That's so neat. That's so awful. Anyway, they're done. Now on to the next one. I love this and it worked by accident. So the dye we're using is this one. And I've already cut it out three times out of Lavinia Hot Press Watercolour. So I've already cut it out. I'll show you the packet in a minute. She says, because she doesn't know where it is. Oh, you're having a laugh. I don't know where it is. It's here. It's the Birdie's Branch die by Catherine Pooler. It's a huge die. It's the full size of my um, five and a half by four and a quarter. That's the size cards I do always unless I do a mini slim line which I think I'm doing here so I've cut them out put them away so what I did here I took my time and did it slowly and I thought gosh this is going to take forever even to show you because I wanted to do more than one so what I did I had three colours where's my colours I had the olive green, emerald green, and turquoise green. So I put a little bit here, wet it and brushed it up. That took me a good half an hour, easy, if not longer. And bearing in mind I did it in different colours as well. Like here. I did it in them. So what I'm going to do is show you it. I just thought at the end I thought, it's too light for what I want. So I thought, I wonder. I wonder what I did. I'm going to use geranium red. Where's the number? Is that it? 29. Oh yeah. Bright yellow, 52. And yellow, 50. And what I'm going to do, could do they, they, I want them to stay in place. Desperately want them to stay in place. I'm going to take the red and I'm just, I'm so quickly. See, this is when people say to me they can't do stuff. Yeah, you can. You can tell there's no 
um, method behind this. Is that the right word? I'm going to take the orangey one, which is yellow. This is why I want to keep them in the die. Uh, in the frame bit. You know what I mean? The outline. And then the yellow. I want to try and keep it yellow, so I'm going to keep brushing it off. I swear, honestly, the time I spent doing this was crazy. But I knew what I wanted. It was in my head what I wanted to do. I just didn't realise I could find a quicker way. I'm purposely doing different colours up there. And that's it. There you go. Stick that on a card. I like it. Then I got the water. And literally sprayed it. Look at that. Look at them colours. Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. It's losing a bit there. I'll put a bit more of that in. That's not a problem. Maybe a bit too much water in there, actually. But look, look at it. I mean, you can always do it more when it's dry. I'm going to dry it off. I think that's amazing. I spent all that time doing it before and it worked bright enough. And yet I've used the same colours. And that's the difference. Exact same colours. What a difference. Just look at that. It is smoother, but just... Oh, I just think it's gorgeous. I'm just going to shove it to the side a minute. In fact, I'm just going to give it a blast stump back. Because we are going to glue it down. And my other one, I just let dry overnight, so... But I just thought, while we've got this out, we've got time, haven't we? Yeah, it doesn't take long to put it together. There's me cloth just thought while it were out because I cut three I might do another one of them colours but I wanted to do I wanted to see how these have come out I haven't done this one and absolutely brilliant for a man's card I struggle with men's cards if I'm honest it's I don't particularly send them to men. I don't send Andy one. I send him the same Christmas card every year and it's got a cavalier on front. But, no. My daddy's not here. Um, I've got my little brother who lives in Cornwall. I think I sent them one last year, actually. Um... Yeah, so it's not something I do. Now that might be a bit too much of that green, but that's the colour. Well, I did one of these by hand, which I've just shown you. Slowly, I mean. And this was the colour that I wanted to stand out. The first colour in that, but it did need something in between. If this works, oh, I'll be over at noon. I mean, you could do it with all sorts. Do it with your dinkles if you've got dinkles or... Um, what's the other ones? Yeah, brushes. 
just sprinkle them over it and spray it it'll do exactly the same thing you don't need these pens do it with your ink pads it'll do exactly the same thing that's done exactly what i wanted it to do wow Oh, I'm chuffed to bits. I've been chuffed with a lot of my cards lately. Not wrong with that, is there? How vibrant they are. Can't believe I was selling me um, zig pens. And then when Lavinia got them in, I thought, oh, I'll see what they do with them. And then I fell back in love with them then. So I'd, um, I had a sale on them and all, but I cancelled it because they were on eBay. I've had mine about two years, three years. And didn't know what to do with them. I hope you guys are as impressed with me and you have a go at it. How speedy is that? It's like I'd speeded it up in it, or video, and I don't even do that. There you go. That one done by hand, slowly, and that one just see it depends if you want. Um, you could do a sympathy card with it, and it'd be nice to have it more pastely looking. But that's your speed one. I love it. I'm impressed. Right, what time are we? I won't do another. Although I'm so tempted. What I will do is make the card. Now then, can't remember how to do it. Well, what I did do, I'm going to do it different this time. So, it was always going to be this colour. Because if you. Look at that. Either way. Isn't that beautiful? Let me find. These are the slimline ones I'm doing. That's filthy. It's the only for show is that. Look at that. It just fits and it's oh it's just beautiful. But we're gonna step it up. First of all, I'm going to splatter this. Somebody asked me about my paste as well. It's not paste, it's supposed to be acrylic paint. And like I say, I use it on my stones. You can use any, you don't even have to use this. Use your sprays that I've got um, shiny in them and stuff. But I just, this is easy for me because it's always here, it's always on the side. I only want a little bit. I say that and I end up putting loads on and wasting it. Why is there a hair in it? I'm blowing the doggies. I just put that on there and mix it with a bit of water and just get me a fan brush. Rosie, stay there, I'm coming back. I tell you, she panics as soon as you stand up. Well, I'm, I mean, I am stood up as soon as you move. Yeah. So, that'll do. I mean, you could splash shirt into there as well, I don't. Do you know what? I think I will for this one. Put a bit of gold on them. We're not actually using this one, but I will use up all these leaves and make cards for you all. Now, sentiment wise, I don't know what I'm going to do because I'll show you the other one when I finish. I'll probably put it on a piece of card and mount it because. He actually gets lost in the other one. Put that in water. Right, 
so that can dry in a minute. And what we're going to do, I cut out all different colours and this is like a champagne and I've had this over two years and all it was Crafter's Companion when they used to do the metallics. And it's the only goldy colour that I liked that didn't shine back in your face. Because I did cut one like that in this bag and I didn't like it. Can you see the shiny one? I didn't like it. So, where have I just pulled that from and left some paper there? That's it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all these bits out, hopefully without breaking the any bits I've got a few of these cut ready for that's one I flattened that one I went over it with my bone folder but I didn't like that it went flat I thought it would just take a couple of creases out and it didn't it flattened it it doesn't have the same when it's not got the is it concave is it yeah anyway what we're going to do is take all these out, hopefully without breaking anything, and they just fit, they just go in and sit down. You could put it in as this if you want, the whole thing, but I just thought stepping it up by um, having a different outline, I think it's beautiful. Come on, go in there. It doesn't matter if they don't fit properly, like that's a bit loose. But you're going to glue the back of them anyway. One of these, I did one last night and I left it overnight. And it was quite hard to get the paper out. It had sort of like, the, the paint had sort of like glued it together. I mean, I did get them out, but I think I broke one of these in the middle. So if I were you and you're doing using this die, I'd take them straight out. But don't you don't have to go buying this die if you've got any dies that have outlines. Doesn't even have to be a leaf. I just think they're yes. I love stuff like this. And don't often get to do it. Now that one's a bit wonky, so there you go. Sorry you're watching this bit, it doesn't take that long. We're nearly there. I could have had it ready, but I thought... I don't mind watching bits like this, you know, when people are... Is it... Paper piecing, is it, or something? I don't mind watching a bit of that. I've made myself a deal to start watching some kinds of crafts. I don't get time to watch any, and it's quite sad, really, when that's what I do. Right, if I can get hold of it, we're going to flip it over. And we're going to put bits of glue all over it. Making sure you've got it on the little bit and the outside, and then it'll all stick together. You don't need loads. She says, chucking a load at it. That one's loose. I think I've got addicted to doing videos, you know. I'm really enjoying doing them and I get frustrated if I've got note to do. I'll leave that out a minute. Um, you know, a note to show you. Gets me right frustrated. I mean, when you watch this one, 
or we're going to be into next week. I'm going to have had my birthday. We're going to have watched the video of the new release. So it's it is it's weird sometimes when you're asking me questions. I'm like, I don't know what you're about because it was over a week ago. <laughs> I'm old. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do because I want to pop this one up. I'm going to pop it up before I put the leaves on. I didn't pop the other one up. What well, I'm going to show you. So you've got two ways of doing it. And the other one doesn't have a panel either. It's literally straight onto card base. Which is also something that a few of you have asked about. Keeping it cheap and just doing single layers. So I have done a version of that as well. Oh, I am going to have to do a pop-up sentiment because my sentiment should have been done. Oh, it's a side fold. Not my thing. Top folds for me. Oh, that's getting stuck down whether I like it or not. I'll just cut a bit off there. In fact, I'm going to do it now. Oh, Rosie. You will get hurt if you stand like that. She's just literally under my feet. I'm just going to cut that bit off to make it level. That'll do. I was just going to say I'll cut a bit off there, but then it would have fallen apart, won't it? Because it's not a <laughs> top fold. That would have been funny, wouldn't it? Right, so I'm going to lay this corner to corner. with the leaves making sure that in the frame because that is literally my card size oh it's nice popped up so you could stick the frame down and then put these in but if you don't get your middle bits right you'll come a cropper so this is the one I did and that's straight onto a card card base and it does have a sentiment I mean I can see it here but if you catch it at the wrong angle it's not very obvious it is in real life but isn't that gorgeous look at them colours are amazing so this one I thought would put on a base on a so the sentiment now then I'm not going to do the sentiment online because I didn't prepare for that. But if I show you that, it's, I mean, no, I'm not going to risk stamping onto it. So it is going to be some kind of card, whether I make up my own card or that could look nice. I will probably go with that. And just put hello or happy birthday. Is that even straight? Have I got any out? I could do. Well, that one, Grateful for You, was from the Alt New Dainty Watering Can. Isn't that cute? But it's got a little for you. I'm going to try it, see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Just the for you. But I am going to... I think this bit's the right size and then it gets wider as it goes up. So I only want a tiny bit from this side. And I'm going to emboss it. This could look quite nice if I don't mess it up for you. Oh, that's going to be the worst bit. Wait a minute. Let's temporarily stick it down. 
Aspetta. Let's see what that comes out like. And then before I go, I'll show you something else. I'm not doing anything else. I'll just show you some what I did sort of prepare. That is um, temporary tape. It does come off like that. Let's just do it in this corner. I hope this works. I think it'll look quite nice. Just something so simple. Let's heat it up and see what it does. Oh, I think that's lovely. Well done, Ida. See, all these little strips. Tell you, when I first started crafting, when people said they used to save stuff, look at all the muck I've just put in there now. When people said they used to save stuff, I was like, gosh, how tight are they? Oh, I know what they meant now. I'm just going to take a tad off that side. And... How much have we got? That looks all right to me. Does that look all right? Look at that, I've got a tiny bit already. Perfect. See, even save tiny little bits of foam. You never know. That needs a bit more glue behind it. So this, I'm going to put... There, no measuring. That looks all right, doesn't it? Good match with colours. Stick some bling on it, and I think I just use these. I am just going to wrap that under there because I'll forget. Oh yeah, there's none on it. I bet you're all shouting at me, you want you? I totally missed the leaf altogether. No wonder it won't stick in. Oh, look at that. Right. Let's stick some of these on. Again, I'm trying to use the fat ones with the thin ones. I like it when they go underneath like that. Um, what did I put on the other? Oh, yeah. We'll go. In here. I love these self stick ones. I think these are alter new, I think. No, say every time I move. Right. So there you've got one mounted and one not mounted. So either way, if you want to keep it simple, flat, like somebody asked. And then if you want to step it up a bit. Aren't they amazing? I'm so proud of them. I'm so happy. These will go out to April birthdays. These will go out for thank you cards. For my coffees. Right, but what I did want to show you 
that there is no waste. Sorry, I keep knocking you again. So the outline, I kept this, I cut this out of the um, hot press. I kept that, even if I just wanted to, you know, just put the framey bit in. And I thought, I'm just not using this, but just for, you know, an idea. You know, just something like that. That's not a good example with that colour. So you didn't have to put the um, middle bits in. So that was one idea. This one, I'd cut the framing, the greens, oh there, same as what I'd done the card folding. I think that is going to be absolutely belting. But I'm going to go with them, I think. I did put the shiny gold in and I didn't like it. And the same colour matching the card, which I don't mind actually. So I were undecided. But that will go onto a card on a base. This will go as a slim line and it'll go into a white base. And that's where this will get a sentiment straight across the middle. I'll cut that a bit thinner, but it'll be using them again. So do you know what I mean? There's loads that you can, and because I've glittered, I like that as it is on its own. But if you wanted to take the, I mean, you could just stick it straight on top. If you want that bit of depth as well. But look at that. Isn't that nice? With glitter inside as well. So all these will be used. I absolutely love it cut out in craft. Love it. So there you go. That is my little treat for today. And I'm impressed. Doing this, I just thought, just wow. Honestly. Right, I'm off. I'm going to go downstairs now. Time away. 10 past 11. I'm going to go downstairs and see if my Lavinia's come. And if it has, I'm going to go straight back up to do a video. Only of the all. Right, I'm off. Happy crafting. Bye for now. <laughs>